Um, Dr. Amit Padanang, as uh, Dr. Richard has already introduced me, thank you for that. And um, a very warm namaste from Nepal. So uh, this is a picture, aerial view of the hospital where I work. And uh, I have two professors who, uh, who have been training us. And that's Professor Dr. Shilpakar, who was, I think, two years uh, ago he was here. Dr. Mohan Sharma, he's uh, currently the head of the department. Dr. Gopal Sadai, me, and Dr. Binod, we are the three junior faculties working there. So first of all, let us look at, look at Nepal at a glance. Uh, it is a landlocked country sandwiched between uh, China on the north and uh, India in the south. It, is, uh, it has a population of around 28 million, and uh, it has one of the eight of the 10 tallest mountains in the world. It is uh, in the in Lumbini. It is uh, the birthplace of Lord Buddha, and it has a literacy rate of around 66 <coughs> percent. Life expectancy has climbed up to 70 years, 70.2 years now, and the GDP is around 1,034 dollars per capita. So, just uh, going through the neurosurgery uh, timeline in Nepal. Professor D. N. Uh, Dinesh Nath Gangul in 1962, he was actually a general surgeon. He did from orthopedics, general surgery, and sometimes neurosurgery. It was the first time in 1962 that he operated on a patient with uh, gigantism, a pituitary adenoma transcranial. It was not until and, uh, in uh, 1988, uh, it was the time the first CT arrived in the uh, first hospital in Nepal, that was Beer Hospital, first civilian hospital. And uh, the dawn of neurosurgery it started in <coughs> 1993 when Professor, late Professor Upendra Dev Kota, who was trained in, in the Glasgow Institute of Neurosciences, he developed neurosurgery into a distinct faculty. And two years later, Professor Norman Bacon from US <coughs> has taken up a challenge to start neurosurgery at the second center that was at our hospital in 1995. And finally, in 2007, we had the first uh, uh, neurosurgical Society, that is Nepalese Society of Neurosurgeons, initially established with just around 12 members in 2007. So <coughs> currently, uh, <coughs> according to the JNS 2019, uh, the recommended population, recommended neurosurgeons to population ratio is around 1 is to 10,000, uh, 100,000 uh, population ratio. So America's is around 0 0.76 per 100,000 population. China is 0 0.43, and Japan as well over six neurosurgeons per 100,000 population. Nepal has around uh, 85 neurosurgeons in uh, 28 million population. That's around 0 0.3 per 100,000. So uh, with the recommended standard of 1 to 100,000, we are currently at a deficit of 215 neurosurgeons. We have a graduate flow rate of around 15 to 20 graduates per year, so we have a target of reaching the expected uh, ratio by 2030, maybe. <coughs> you can see in uh, 1980, uh, around 1989 was uh, when the recruits into neurosurgery started. It has steadily been growing. And uh, 2019, I think we have, uh, we have around 85 neurosurgeons registered in the country. But the problem, the main problem is that uh, most of the neurosurgeons are, again, uh, localized in and around the city. And we have a few neurosurgeons on the eastern side of Nepal, but many of the states don't even have a single neurosurgeon working. So there are two, uh, two established neurosurgical training programs, and maybe one or two which are like, uh, on and off due to several reasons, uh, one of which is ours among the two. Bir Hospital and Tribune University Teaching Hospital are the two centers that have consistently been producing neurosurgeons during this time. Uh, however, major bulk of the neurosurgeons are from, uh, trained from various other countries like China, Bangladesh, Japan, and India. So what are the opportunities for the uh, neurosurgical patients in our country? You can say uh, neurosurgical services are widely available, at least in, in certain areas, at a very low cost. Uh, uh, you can, like, 50 cents, uh, a patient can get a neurosurgical consultation in a hospital like ours at 50 cents. And uh, maybe a $5 per consultation in the same day on a private hospital in, in Kathmandu. The government has uh, recently started support system for the head and spine injury cases and brain tumor by uh, providing $1,000 for each patient. 
The overall wait time in public hospitals is around two to three months, and uh, most of the major cranial surgeries can be covered by just around 500 US dollars. In private hospitals, they hey guys, thanks for watching. To continue, please log in or create an account for free. Thank you for your support.